Can you also raise your hand for me? Yeah. Okay. I believe that the two years that I spent at Castileo School, which is an all-girls school just down the street from Stanford, were critical in helping me build my own self-confidence as a scholar and as a woman. Even though it's been seven years since I attended Castileo, I still feel incredibly grateful for my opportunity that I had to go there. And reflecting on my experience there has made me wonder if maybe everybody would benefit from spending those awkward middle school years in a single-sex environment. Despite my own positive feelings regarding all-girls school. My research on single-sex education has demonstrated to me that not everybody supports single-sex education, which is now a hot topic, especially since school administrators are experimenting with making their public schools single-sex. And um, I've also been interested in learning about the different feminist standpoints on all-girls schools throughout history. And I was especially interested to learn that there are now two different feminists group schools of thought regarding um, all-girls schools today. And the first one shares my opinion that all-girls schools can empower girls and build their self-confidence and are really good for their development, while another group sees single-sex education as a huge step backwards in the fight for equal rights, thinking that separating girls and boys in schools is just perpetuating sexism and gender stereotypes. I think both of these arguments are really important for administrators to consider before they take a step in turning their public schools, or by introducing single-sex environments to their public schools, as well as by parents who are considering enrolling their daughters in all-girls schools. And I plan on reading professional opinions and testaments in books and articles, including science articles, um, to learn on this issue, as well as conducting personal interviews with girls who have assisted all girls schools to learn more about their experience and how they feel about it. Um, I hope to add to the literature in Serena by carefully considering both sides and making an informed decision on it. Thank you.